Hey, it's Kamori, and today we're going to talk about how to make bias tape. First off, the bias is a area of stretch that occurs at a 45 degree angle to the weave of the fabric. So to find this area, you can either use a ruler or it can help by taking the selvage edge of the fabric and folding it up to match the cut side of the fabric and you can see where that section will be. Next, take a clear ruler and either a pen or some chalk and draw the cutting line onto your fabric for whatever width you want your bias tape to be. For this project, I'm using two inches to create a half inch double fold bias tape. If you need to extend your bias tape and make it a bit longer, simply cut a second strip, then put right sides together and sew the two pieces along the edge. Then we're going to open it up and press it flat. To make the fold of the bias tape, we're going to start by folding the tape in half, putting wrong sides together, and pressing it flat. Then, now that we have this fold as a marker, we're going to take each of the sides, fold them and bring it inward so that it touches the fold mark from earlier on either side, and then press those down as well. Putting the folded sides inward, fold the bias tape in half one more time, and press it flat. Bias tape will usually end up having one side that's a bit shorter than the other, and the shorter side is the one that we want to sew down first. For this particular project, since there is going to be an actual end to where the bias tape is and it's not going to be covered up by a seam or a zipper or something like that, we're going to trim off some of the excess bias tape, then we're going to fold it over and pin it in place. That way, when it comes time to wrap the bias tape over the edge, the raw edge will be encased. Now we're just going to pin the bias tape all along the bottom of the bodice, and we're going to sew along that first fold line. Once the one side of the bias tape is attached, fold it over and pin it into place. And now we're going to uh, the, they call it stitch in the ditch, so basically we're going to try and sew as close to where the other seam was from earlier, and while we're doing that we're going to catch the end of the bias tape on that side to sew everything into place. And that's how you make and sew bias tape. For more cosplay sewing tutorials, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching!